To make a ladybug ring, first of all, you gotta catch a ladybug, or if two or three is probably better in case one doesn't work out. Get some molten glass and inject it directly into their system. Best is to hold their little mouth open, pour it directly down their throat. This is best to do while they're still alive. They might kick or struggle a little bit, but you gotta hold that ladybug firm and get that molten glass in there. Eventually it'll fill up its system and depending on what color glass you pick that'll turn out to be your ladybug bead. And then you take a nice drill, drill it straight through the ladybug. The ladybug's probably not alive at that point so don't, don't worry about it feeling bad. And then you can get some 20 gauge silver and you can make yourself a ladybug ring. About one foot. Pick your ladybug, put it through to the middle. Once you get there, give it a good crimp, crimp. So we're gonna go, come around like this. We're gonna bring the strands together, just wrap around his belly like that. And then we're gonna crimp it out like this. Get a good stepped ring mandrel from Joanne Fabrics. Remember your average lady is about six or seven, but you can make it any size you want. I'm gonna wrap it around the mandrel like this. I'm gonna go around twice. Give it a little extra firmness. That way I kind of get this pattern like this. And we're gonna come all the way around. That. And last but not least, we're gonna make our ladybug antennae. I'll clip this right here. And I'm just gonna turn this back and then pinch it and then turn it sideways and roll it. That's gonna be my ladybug antennae. And a little bit of E6000 to finish it off. Put a nice generous amount, just enough that it's not gonna squish through to the other side and then rub it.